let's talk about hall drag. So the best way to really mitigate any sort of hall drag and looking at the health of your hull is quite frankly, regularly get underneath your trailer. Regularly get underneath your trailer and take a look at the hull. All right. A lot of you guys who live in areas where there's sandbars and you pull up the sandbars and you guys tailgate and you have a good time. Here's the problem. You might, you might hand drag your ski up onto a, onto a beach. You might be the most kid glove, gentle guy there is, but you don't know what's underneath the sand. There might be a rock. There might be a seashell. There might be a, a, a Bud Light bottle that's broken. You don't know. So what happens is that when you drag it up, you might actually get scratches and gouges deeper than just from the sand. Okay. And sea do CM tech. All right. CM tech is two, is, is two materials. The first on the inside is their processed chopped, chopped is finely chopped um, fiberglass. All right. But on the outside is an acrylic sheet. All right. If you want to know how they make the hulls for the new sea dews, Go on to YouTube and Google how a jacuzzi is made. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not joking. They take an acrylic sheet, all right? They heat it up, and then they pull it through a vacuum into a mold. All right? Either it's pressed or it's vacuumed. I, I believe it's vacuumed. Either way, it's molded, it's cooled, trimmed, and then filled with fiberglass. Okay? Well, that, that's an, I mean, it's a thick acrylic sheet. It's repairable. Trust me, ask me how I know. But it is, it's repairable, but that material is pretty durable. When it comes to Yamaha, Yamaha has a fiberglass hull that they, that they base coat and uh, base coat, color coat, clear coat. It's like taking the door off your car and dragging it up the beach. So guys are like, oh man, you know. My, my hull is all scratched up. It's like, well, you took the hood off your car and dragged it up a sandbar. So what do you expect? I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying that's, that's, the, the, best, that's, that's the best comparison I can make. So you got to be really careful when it comes to dragging your ski up onto a beach because you can mar. And, and, I mean, there, trust me, I live on a lake here in Tennessee. There's more trees floating under the water surface than are around my house. And I live in the woods. So <laughs> figure that one out. Um, and I have ran over trees. I have, I mean, full size, top to bottom trees. So <laughs> they're there and they're floating and it's terrifying. So it happens. And damage happens to skis. It happens to the best of us. The best riders on the planet have hit things. It just happens. Uh, so again, what happens with that is... Look out for major scratches. Look out for gouges. Look out for chips in your hull. When it comes to Yamahas, it gets really precarious because a small chip or a small gouge at high speed or over long distance can let water start peeling away on that paint. And then that layer of paint is only being held on by the rest of the paint that it's attached to. And water intrusion can come in and peel that paint right off. Those guys you see their hulls delaminate, nine times out of 10, it's because they had a small chip or a small gouge that, that was undetected and water intrusion, like a water jet, finally pierced it and, pe and, and got in enough that it peels large layers of paint off of that, off of that hull. So it is... Um, it, it, that's kind of the process. And then when I talked to, when I talked to Yamaha and I talked to the service department and I talked to uh, all, all the warranty guys, that's usually what they're seeing is that someone has, someone has gone along riding and just simply never considered looking at their hull and the hull had, you know, they came up onto a floating dock too hard and they took a chunk out of it or a chip out of it and it just starts to peel away. So, um, it, you got to be real, really careful with it. It is a little ginger. It's a little, it's, it's a little soft. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. 
This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.